10 Super Smart Facts About Basenjis Basenjis are an ancient African breed, known for their cat-like personalities and jackal-like appearance. Learn more about this clever breed and their unusual history. Number 1. They go way back. Basenjis have been around for so long that they were once friends with the Egyptians. In fact, the dogs have been documented as far back as 4000 BCE. These dogs were most likely kept as hunting companions in Central Africa, somewhere between the Congo and South Sudan. Experts believe they were given to the Egyptian pharaohs, who were said to adore the animals because of their cat-like personalities and clean coats. Number 2. They serve as muses. Depictions of the curly-tailed canines can be seen in ancient sculptures. The first illustration of the breed was found in tombs of the Great Pyramid of Khufu, the dogs can also be found on shields, walls, and drawings, and there are even some mummified Basenjis. New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art has a Babylonian bronze statue of a Basenji and its owner. Number 3. They're excellent hunters. Basenjis were originally bred as hunting dogs. The canines were used to flush animals out of hiding places and into hunters' nets, as well as finding egg caches, pointing, and keeping villages free of rodents. Most dog breeds hunt by sight, such as greyhounds, or by smell, such as beagles, but Basenjis hunt by both sight and smell. Number 4. Lions are no match for them. The dogs are used to lure lions out of their caves in Kenya. Maasai hunters use four of these dogs at once to track down lions and bring them out into the open. Hunters form a circle around a lion once it leaves the safety of its cave. Number 5. Their name is pretty cute. People of the Aturi rainforests called these dogs Basenchi, or little bush thing. Number 6. Their bark is more of a yodel. Basenjis are known for being a quiet breed with flat larynxes that prevent them from barking. When they do make noise, it resembles a yodel rather than a traditional bark. Number 7. Bringing them to Europe was tricky. In the 1890s, Basenjis were imported to England, but a distemper epidemic wiped out the majority of the dogs. Basenjis were brought back to the United Kingdom and the United States after a vaccine became available in the 1930s. However, the breeding pool for this rare dog was small, resulting in health issues. Fanconi's syndrome, a gene disorder, became a widespread issue, resulting in the deaths of a number of Basenjis. Breeders imported dogs from Sudan and the Congo to add diversity to the gene pool. Because some people are still affected by Fanconi syndrome, it's best to get your Basenji from a reputable breeder. Number 8. Training won't be easy. Basenjis are independent and aloof dogs. The cat-like canines usually only have one or two human companions and prefer to do things on their own. Training them can be difficult due to their stubborn personalities, and it takes a lot of patience. Number 9. Good luck catching up to one. When running, Basenjis, like greyhounds and whippets, use a double suspension gallop. When most dogs run, at least one of their feet is always touching the ground. Galloping breeds like the Basenji, on the other hand, have two distinct times when all four paws are off the ground. This gait allows the dog to run at high speeds. Number 10. They're very clean. Basenjis were bred to be quiet, independent hunters who frequently roamed free from their owners while hunting. Although the breed is not as friendly as other dogs, it forms strong bonds with its owners. And, like cats, they're known for keeping their coats and paws clean. Grooming them is simple for owners because the dogs do most of the work. What do you like best about Basenjis, and what is your experience with this dog breed? Tell me in the comments. Consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you're new to this channel. Also see our Basenji training guide for insider information on the Basenji dog breed. We also highly recommend the dog owner's secret handbook. And if you're having trouble training your dog, we have a great online dog training course recommendation. The links can be found in the description of the video or in the first comment. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.